The I.O. setup in the menu bar under setup is where you configure the inputs and outputs you will use with Pro Tools. The number of inputs and outputs will be determined by the audio device you have selected in the playback engine. The first two tabs in the I.O. setup window are inputs followed by outputs. Across the top is the number of channels the playback engine has and down the left side is the number of inputs or outputs and formats assigned to use with Pro Tools. The squares in the grid are labelled with channel names such as M for mono, L for left and R for right. These represent the input from or output to the device and what it will be called in Pro Tools. You can rename these as needed to make it easy to select the correct input or output. You can create new paths and subparts with the buttons at the bottom left of the dialog. It may be simpler in many cases to click the default button to reset the I.O. On the bottom right of the output tab are settings for default outputs. This makes opening Pro Tools sessions and auditioning much easier. Set this to the output your speakers or headphones are connected to. Once configured, the inputs and outputs will be available to tracks in Pro Tools.